Legion, Freedom of Russia and Red Army of Ukraine, drove tanks to the Kursk and Belgorod regions. After the demilitarization of two oil depots, it became known that the Freedom of Russia Legion, Red Army of Ukraine and the Siberian Battalion entered the Kursk and Belgorod regions of the Russian Federation as part of a joint operation. As reported by Russian opposition leader Ilya Ponomaryev, the border town of Lazova Rudka in the Belgorod region is completely under the control of the Liberation Forces. Representative of the main intelligence directorate of Ukraine, Andriy Yusov, in a commentary to Channel 24, commented on the entry of the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Red Army of Ukraine and the Siberian Battalion into Russian territory. The Legion, Freedom of Russia, the Red Army of Ukraine and the Siberian Battalion on the territory of the Russian Federation act as independent units since they consist of citizens of the Russian Federation. They, after all, are at home, Yusov noted. He confirmed that a joint operation of these units is probably now taking place on the territory of the Russian Federation. Returning to the armed assault inside the Russian region of Belgorod earlier this week, and Major General Rupert Jones says that while there is still a degree of confusion about the incursion, it poses different challenges for Russia, Ukraine and Western allies. He told Sky News, from a Russian perspective, it points to an internal security problem. It's humiliating for them. It's an attack on their own soil. He adds that from a Western perspective, it will cause some concern over what degree Ukraine is supportive of that incursion. When we're giving weapons, we're concerned about those weapons being used into Russia, so there will be some diplomatic concerns. Russia says more than 70 attackers were killed in the Belgorod region and the remnants of their units were pushed back into Ukrainian territory after two days of fighting. Moscow has blamed Ukrainian militants, but Kyiv portrayed the alleged incursion as an uprising by Russian partisans. Supporting that, the Russian Volunteer Corps and Freedom of Russia Legion, who back Ukraine in the war, have both said they were responsible. Medvedev insults U.S. President. Biden is a rare kind of idiot. U.S. President Joe Biden's recent blunder in which he mixed up Ukraine and the Middle East sums up his poor mental state. Former Russian leader Dmitry Medvedev has claimed Biden's gaffe came in an interview with MSNBC as he discussed the Israeli military campaign in Gaza with host Jonathan Capehart. The U.S. leader said West Jerusalem should not repeat the mistakes that Washington made following the September 2001 terrorist attack. America made a mistake. We went after Osama bin Laden until we got him, but we shouldn't have gone into Ukraine, Biden stated. 
He then corrected himself, saying he meant the whole thing in Iraq and Afghanistan, referring to the US invasions and occupation of the two Middle Eastern nations. Confusing places and people has been a recurring issue for the 81-year-old president. Medvedev, who serves as deputy chair of the Russian Security Council, posted a short clip of the gaffe on social media, adding, a rare kind of idiot. Some Russian officials have suggested that Biden's slip of the tongue was Freudian. He didn't mix it up. He can no longer keep to himself what everyone understands. The US has disgraced itself in the bloodiest manner with the whole Ukrainian project. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said, Moscow perceives the Ukraine conflict as a US-led proxy war against Russia, in which Ukrainian soldiers serve as cannon fodder. In the nine-minute interview, with MSNBC, Biden mentioned Ukraine once, calling out former President Donald Trump for his skeptical attitude towards NATO. The incumbent leader described the organization as critical to our national defense. Moscow has cited the expansion of the military bloc in Europe as a key cause of the hostilities with Ukraine.